hey guys welcome back to the channel welcome to another exploration video and 7.2.1 we'll be attem attempting counter tactics and release wolf today so for the nodes every time you hit an opponent according to your combo meter they gain 20 percent extra damage on their base attack and to counteract that there is also going to be release ball so every time you dex their specials you lose 10 hits from your combo meter and also to help you finish the fights faster there's going to be foresight so you get a huge fury buff if you are able to intercept the opponent and all the special attacks from the opponents will be unblockable keeping that in mind there are different champions you can use i've listed them on the left side of your screen so you can use combo reducers that can manipulate their combo meter power gainers you can play with no parry style region champs so you can block but once uh, they use a heavy attack you can go back in and you can try to heal up also indestructible get hit the indestructible will save you and you will lose your combo meter and you can go back in and also weakness champions whenever you apply a weakness your damage reduce you can counteract counter tactics with that and there are some other good options as well the boss is going to be Modog, Magneto and Mole Man. We'll be attempting Magneto today with Human Torch. So stay tuned guys and before we jump into the path, make sure to like the video, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel. All of that really helps you out a lot and helps grow the channel. Now the first defender is going to be an Elsa Bloodstone. Now the best way to deal with her is going to keep her to an SP1 because her specials are uh, unblockable. So only SP1 you can evade. You can evade the first two projectiles and that will reduce your combo meter as well. And you can keep it to that. I would suggest you if you're going to bring a bleed champion, always bring a mutant one so you don't get degen from her. And in my case, I'm going to use an Archangel. I'm just going to parry and heavy and stack those neurotoxins while I dex the SP1. As soon as you get to an SP2, that's game over with her. So just be careful about that. You can also throw in some intercepts to gain some extra damage from foresight and kill her off. Some other good options can be your region champion, so X23, Wolverine, Ghost can work here really well. You can also use Hyperion with no parry style and as well as Quake. next champion against you is going to be captain america infinity war who's quite tanky and has that annoying glancing on him so but his specials are very easily evadable sp1 and sp2 so i would suggest you to bring some like a bleeder champion because against armor bleeders work really good so bring in somebody with heavy bleeds or big special attacks and try to kill him off faster because his glancing can just prolong the fight for no reason in my case i'm having mole man i'm just bringing up to a frenzy and then i will start hitting him and let it rip and use my sp2 and bring him down really fast other options you can use here are again archangel the new uh, the black panther OG version that is buffed also you can use squirrel girl she has a lot of bleeds and as well as ghost also works
Next defender is going to be Spider-Man Stealth Suit. Now the first thing you need to take care about is going to be his evade charge. He is going to evade and you know that. Just be ready to block him or parry him when he comes back at you. His specials both are very easily evadable but if you want to reduce the combo, your combo meter and reduce the combo tactics damage, I would suggest you to keep pushing him to an SP2. He throws two, two projectiles on you, you can dodge that and that's minus 20 hits on your combo meter. If not, you can always just use a parry in a heavy style with champions like Archangel and you can also bring in Hyperion with a no parry style. Domino with Red Hook really works here also. So it's upon you guys. If you throw in some intercepts here, you will get extra uh, fury with foresight that will reduce the hits and help you f finish the fight faster. Also, he's a metal champion so Magneto totally rips him apart. Next one is Ebony Mo. Now he's a really annoying defender because you have to either re-parry or you have to parry his basic attacks only then he will be stunned. He cannot be stunned during his dash in or medium attacks. Now keeping that in mind you can use quite a few champions. The best champion that works against Mo are going to be your Archangel and going to be your Dom Domino, Domino with the Red Hulk if you can parry and use the heavy attacks. Quake also is a really good option. Human Torch but you just need to be careful to always keep him to an sp1 because it is easily available and you can distance yourself with sp2 even if you evade or if you dex the first uh, instance of the special the projectiles will kill you off so that are the options you can use i'm trying to make a guide where i show every different option so i'm using captain america infinity war with a size champion and stacking on those weakness debuff even though my combo meter is at 20, first I have a high block proficiency with Captain America Infinity War. Secondly, with all the stacking debu uh, weakness debuffs on the opponent, his damage is reduced and those counter tactics are not giving me a huge amount, a huge amount of block damage. The next defender is going to be a Killmonger which arguably is the most annoying defender in this whole path because not only you have to take care from the block damage of counter tactics but you also have to take care not using criticals or not giving you much damage when he has a reverberation up because that a portion of that is returned to you. Now the best way to deal with it is to bring in champions that have armor break so you don't have to worry about his reverberation and all of the good stuff he gets with his armor. If you'll notice that I am using a Hyperion here. I had really bad luck with RNG on the stuns but usually if you land 4 or 5 stuns you can just spam your heavy and get those furies and you can finish this fight faster. For me it did not happen. So again bring in champions that have armor break to make your life easier. So if you have armor break champions that are cosmic that is much better because you will have your class advantage. So Captain Marvel movie version works really well, Annihilus works really well. 
or you can go the long way you can bring in wolverine or rogue or x23 the region champs and let him use his heavy attack and then you retaliate you can uh, also use captain america infinity war with the science and a cosmic synergy the science will reduce the uh, will apply weakness on the defender and reduce their attack damage and the cosmic champion will give you armor break that is essential against the kit of killmonger so those are some good options you can also bring in magneto use a special to get the armor break on killmonger and then just keep refreshing by parry and heavy and then let rip and sp3 that can work as well and one final note on killmonger his specials are special 2 is easily evadable you can also evade the special one with a little patience but if you don't have the timing down remember that he is going to throw those specials and all of those projectiles are going to be unlockable and you will end up taking your damage so i would suggest you to bring champions that either do not give him power or you play no uh, no parry style and you can push him to an sp2 always so that is the most easiest way to deal with him And the last defender on the path is going to be a Red Hulk who is very easy to deal with. Just don't block him when he has a bunch of heat charges on him because he will give you a lot of heat damage on block. So just be careful about that. You can bring in any skill champion, preferably a bleeder so you can kill him off fast. Ghost also works here. Also so does Quake. So you can use them as well. Hyperion or any power gainer like Sorcerer Supreme or Symbiote Supreme, they will also work. So there's quite a few different options, but take care of the class advantage. Don't bring in Sorcerer Supreme if you don't have to. Now I am using a Mole Man. I've just brought up my uh, Frenzy and I'm just going in laying the damage into him. And with an SP2, he will lose a chunk of health and he will go down very easily. Also, you can use Blade. Also, you can use Hit Monkey. There's quite a few options.
Whenever you hit the opponent with a basic attack, you get a charge on you by the name of Fervor. So if you use a special attack, you reduce 10 Fervor charges. If you use a basic attack, you basically add 10 Fervor charges. So you need to always be above 10 when you use a special attack to avoid degen that is equal to 50% of the defender's attack rating. Other than that, Magneto also have a power buildup node. So when he reaches a 2 bar power, uh, every 2 seconds he start gaining and uh, a prowess charge that is a permanent till the end of the fight so just take care of that and also all of his specials are going to be unblockable so that's going to be a lot of fun because his sp2 is i still don't have the timing down but i try my best to get him and he's going to be super aggressive so it'll be easy for you to do intercepts to avoid parry and block and take massive amount of block damage now jumping into the fight you will notice that I am just trying to build up my smolder charges because magneto attacks are energy attacks. Once I have enough full, uh, smolder I am just using my medium light medium to stack up those incinerates and whenever he throws an sp1 my timing with it is really bad so I just go to the corner of the screen and I wait for the projectile to come to me and then I evade it. So you can evade the sp1 like that. sp2 is a little more trickier but with the right timing you can do that as well. Now with Human Torch, once he has those smolders up, he can really really lay in the damage and all of those power stings that he will get because uh, of HD going into Nova Farm will also help a lot. It's just about hanging in there, having a little bit of patience, slowly Human Torch will melt him away. Other options you can use here are Magic. If you see my previous video on 6.2.1, I have done the takedown with Magic. So keep check out that one as well. You can also use Voodoo here. And you can also use Captain America Infinity War with a Science and a Tech Champion to apply Petrify and Weakness at the same time. So that will work. And Void can also work and reverse his spite if it is on there. And those slow debuffs damage will kill Magneto off as well make sure to bring a non-metallic champion otherwise you're gonna have the hardest time ever i hope you guys really enjoy the tips and tricks and it, it helps you complete this path if you did guys make sure to leave a thumbs up leave a comment down below like the video and subscribe to the channel all of that really helps me out a lot and helps me grow the channel and apart from that guys i hope you all have an amazing day and i'll see you next time